unsimplified autonomy will first be solved for um, uh, for, for the Model Y in Austin, and then it, it, it actually should parse out the terms robotic taxi or rubber taxi, and just generally like what's the the cyber cab because we've got a product called the cyber cab, and then but any any Tesla which, which could be an S three X or Y that is autonomous is a robotic taxi or rubber taxi. Elon Musk's enthusiasm for full self-driving isn't just bravado, it's Tesla's moonshot at a multi-trillion dollar robotaxi empire. And the timing couldn't be more critical. With Tesla's core vehicle sales and profitability under pressure, Musk is betting big that FSD can unlock as much as $50 billion in annual billings by 2030, transforming the company from a car maker into the backbone of global mobility. Wall Street is watching closely. The Austin Robotaxi pilot sent Tesla's stock up 8% overnight, and some investors are already calling Robotaxis the next trillion dollar platform. But this isn't just a victory lap waiting to happen. Apple, Uber, and General Motors have all quietly shelved their own FSD ambitions. A sobering reminder that autonomy is a technical and regulatory minefield. Meanwhile, Tesla faces real competition. Waymo in the US has logged millions of paid robotaxi miles using LiDAR and radar technology. And in China, Baidu and Pony AI were already running commercial fleets at scale. The question isn't just whether FSD will work, it's whether Tesla can outpace rivals who've survived the same gauntlet. The stakes are enormous. The path is anything but easy. And the next chapter for Tesla is about to be written in real time. Tesla's robotaxi ambitions have captured the imagination of investors, analysts, and the public alike. The company's vision is to deploy a vast fleet of autonomous vehicles capable of providing ride-hailing services at a fraction of today's costs, unlocking what some investors have called a multi-trillion dollar opportunity. But this isn't just hype. Recent market forecasts suggest the global robotaxi sector could swell from $2 billion in 2025 to over $17 billion by 2029, driven by urbanization, sustainability goals, and a shift away from car ownership. Tesla's approach is unique. Rather than building a separate vehicle, it plans to leverage its existing fleet of hardware for equipped cars, potentially accelerating rollout and adoption. The financial implications are enormous. Investors estimate robo-taxi rides could cost as little as 25 cents per mile, undercutting both traditional taxis and current ride-hailing apps. In June 2025, Tesla's limited robo-taxi launch in Austin, Texas, sent its stock soaring by 8% in a single day. And analysts responded by raising price targets, citing the controlled and safety-first approach of the pilot program. If Tesla can scale this vision, it could redefine urban mobility and create a new profit engine for the company. But what is FSD and why does it matter? Full self-driving is Tesla's proprietary suite of advanced driver assistance features, aiming to enable cars to drive themselves in virtually all conditions. Unlike rivals such as Waymo, which use a mix of LiDAR, radar, and cameras, Tesla's FSD relies solely on cameras and artificial intelligence, making its approach both bold and controversial. The reason FSD is so crucial is simple. Without reliable, safe autonomy, the robotaxi vision collapses. Tesla's FSD has evolved rapidly, with the company gathering billions of real-world miles to train its neural networks, a key advantage over competitors. However, as of mid-2025, Tesla's FSD is still considered in testing, with the Austin RoboTaxi service requiring a Tesla employee present in the vehicle as a safety backup. This underscores the gap between current capabilities and full autonomy. For instance, on the first day of the Austin pilot, navigation glitches were reported, highlighting the ongoing challenges. The stakes are high. If FSD delivers, Tesla could leapfrog rivals and dominate the robotaxi market. If not, the entire business case for autonomous ride hailing and the lofty valuation that comes with it could unravel. So how close is Tesla to true autonomy? Despite the excitement, the road to full autonomy is proving far tougher than many expected. 
Elon Musk has repeatedly predicted that millions of Tesla robotaxis would be operational by the end of 2026. But experts and analysts remain skeptical about such rapid scaling. The recent Austin pilot is a step forward, but it's tightly controlled, with only a handful of vehicles and safety drivers still required. Compare this to Waymo, which has logged over 400,000 miles between police reported collisions and already runs commercial robotaxi services in several US cities. Tesla's FSD, while impressive in some scenarios, has faced criticism for its handling of complex urban environments and rare edge cases. For example, during the Austin launch, some users noted that the vehicle struggled with construction zones and unusual traffic patterns, requiring manual intervention. This highlights a core challenge. While Tesla's data-driven approach is powerful, the software must prove it can handle the unpredictable chaos of real-world roads before regulators and the public will fully trust it. Until then, the gap between hype and reality remains significant. But then what about the competition? How does it stack up? Well, Tesla isn't alone in the race for robotaxi dominance. Alphabet's Waymo and China's Baidu are already running commercial autonomous ride-hailing services, with Waymo's fleet recently valued at $45 billion. Waymo's vehicles are a combination of LiDAR, radar, and cameras, and have achieved impressive safety records far surpassing the current performance of Tesla's FSD in terms of miles per intervention. Baidu's Apollo Go service in China has also logged millions of autonomous miles, and both companies are expanding rapidly into new cities. Relatively newer competitors like Pony AI have also made massive strides in China, but Tesla's key advantage is its massive fleet and ability to push software updates over the air, allowing for rapid iteration and improvement. However, as of 2025, Tesla's robotaxi rollout is still limited to a small pilot in Austin, while Waymo and Baidu operate at larger scale. Analysts point out that Tesla's camera-only approach is unproven at scale, and the company faces stiff competition from rivals with more mature technology and, crucially, regulatory relationships. The next few years will reveal whether Tesla's bet on vision-based autonomy can catch up or even surpass its sensor-laden competitors. But how has Tesla's robotaxi rollout gone? Well, the rollout of robotaxis has already produced a handful of headline-grabbing incidents, underscoring both the promise and peril of autonomous vehicles. During Tesla's limited pilot in Austin, early users reported navigation issues, with one vehicle struggling to handle a complex intersection and requiring a safety driver to take control. These teething problems are not unique to Tesla. Waymo and Cruise have also faced public scrutiny after their vehicles became stuck in traffic or failed to respond to emergency vehicles. In San Francisco, a Cruise robotaxi blocked an ambulance in 2024, sparking a regulatory review. Tesla's approach with a controlled and safety-first pilot is designed to minimize such incidents. Still, every misstep is magnified in the public eye, and the margin for error is razor thin. As Tesla expands its pilot, it will need to demonstrate consistent, incident-free performance to win over both regulators and a skeptical public. The company's ability to learn from real-world mishaps and quickly iterate its software will be crucial to scaling robotaxi operations safely. But what about regulation and the need to get safety absolutely spot on? Well, regulatory approval remains one of the biggest obstacles to widespread robotaxi deployment, while Tesla and Elon Musk have expressed optimism about launching autonomous ride-hailing in California and Texas, regulators have taken a cautious approach. The Austin pilot, for example, requires a Tesla employee in the car, reflecting current legal limitations. In California, robotaxi services must meet stringent safety and reporting requirements, and several high-profile incidents involving other autonomous vehicles have led to temporary suspensions and increased scrutiny. Waymo's ability to operate driverless taxis in multiple cities is the result of years of close collaboration with regulators and transparent safety reporting. Tesla, by contrast, is still in the early stages of building these relationships. The company's ambitious timeline may clash with the slow pace of regulatory change, especially if incidents occur during pilot programs. Looking ahead, Tesla would need to prove not just technical competence, but also a commitment to safety and transparency to secure the green light for large-scale robotaxi operations. And even in the investor community, 
there is not a consensus right now. Tesla's robo-taxi narrative has become a lightning rod for some investor sentiment. The mere announcement of a limited pilot in Austin triggered an 8% surge in Tesla's share price, adding over $90 billion to its market cap in a single day. Some bulls see robo-taxis as a multi-trillion dollar opportunity that could dwarf the company's current automotive business. They point to Tesla's unique cost structure, no driver expenses, scalable software, and a vast data grow as reasons for optimism. Yet there's growing skepticism. Goldman Sachs recently cautioned that much of the robotaxi upside may already be priced into Tesla's stock and warned of execution risks, regulatory delays, and competition from Waymo and Chinese firms. Some investors worry that if FSD fails to deliver, Tesla's valuation could take a significant hit. The stakes are clear. Success could make Tesla the undisputed king of urban mobility. Failure could expose the company to sharp corrections and erode its tech leadership. So what next then for Tesla? Tesla now faces a pivotal moment. The company must transition from a tightly controlled pilot in Austin to a scalable, reliable, and fully autonomous robotaxi service, a leap that has eluded even the most advanced competitors. Elon's public timeline is characteristically aggressive, but analysts and insiders caution that technical, regulatory, and operational challenges could stretch the rollout over several years. Tesla's ability to leverage its existing fleet and push software updates remotely is a powerful tool, but it must also address persistent concerns about FSD's reliability in complex environments. Anecdotes from the Austin pilot suggest the company is learning quickly, but scaling up will require not just technical breakthroughs, but also trust building with regulators and the public. If Tesla can pull off this high stakes pivot, it could redefine urban transportation and unlock vast new revenue streams. If not, the company risks falling behind as rivals consolidate their lead in the robotaxi race. Tesla's robotaxi ambitions represent one of the boldest bets in tech today, a potential multi-trillion dollar opportunity that could reshape cities, redefine mobility, and catapult the company to new heights. Yet the risks are equally profound. Full autonomy remains a technical and regulatory minefield and recent incidents in pilot programs highlight just how challenging safe, reliable robotaxi service can be. Investors are right to be excited, but also cautious. The path to robotaxi domination is littered with hurdles, from software glitches to public trust and regulatory approval. As the Austin pilot unfolds and Tesla pushes for broader adoption, the company's fortunes may swing on its ability to deliver on the FSD promise. In the end, Tesla's robo-taxi journey is a story of massive upside and equally massive uncertainty. Whether it becomes the company's biggest opportunity or its most costly risk will depend on how it navigates the next few years. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy hearing about stories in tech and you want to support this channel, the best thing you can do is to subscribe. See you for the next one.